The W250 falls right into the same standard category as Honda's Old School Rebel and Suzuki's Boulevard S40 in terms of looks and stature. A set of wire wheels gets things started off in the right direction with proportions that work well with the 55-inch wheelbase and overall stance, and the blackout treatment on the fork sliders, triple tree and headlight can gives the dub a bit of a home job custom air that pairs well with the dated design. An old school, strut type fender contains the fling up front below a simple, round cyclops headlight housing and turn signal standoffs. Dual round instrument housing strike another dated core, as does the teardrop fuel tank though the flange style reservoir is one classic detail I could do without. Yeah, it fits the style well enough, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. The seat comes in a natural, tan color with a faux tuck and roll design that marries well with the rest of the look with a gentle rise to the pillion pad and a grab strap to go with the fold-up foot pegs to finish out the passenger's gear.